Mabuhai, Kamustika, welcome, how are you? This is Bob from Love Beyond the Sea. How I avoid an imbalance of power in an age gap marriage. So we'll talk about today. One of the objections to an age gap marriage I have heard is that there will inevitably be an imbalance of power that the husband will assert some unrealistic authority over his younger Filipina wife. Many men seek a younger Filipina, and I am married to one myself, and I believe it is important to tackle this today. Please subscribe to Love Beyond the Sea, and um, like and share these videos. Certainly leave your comments. I will talk about some uncomfortable but necessary topics from time to time that have to do with a foreign and Filipina relationship because I want you to have a great one. It's all about having the right perspective. The husband is ahead of the wife, the Bible tells us. Now this means that he is responsible for her well-being before God, to meet her needs, to protect her, to nourish her spiritually, to help her have a deeper relationship with Jesus Christ. He is to regard her as better than himself, and that's just a general biblical principle for all people, and selflessly seek to do good to her. This alone should squash an attitude of superiority. The husband is the leader, the influencer of his wife and family. The husband is to love his wife as Christ loved the church and give his life up for her. Does this sound like an imbalance of power? Grace to you explains a husband's attitude like this, and I will uh, put a link in the description for you. Live with your wives in an understanding way. Peter says in um, 1 Peter 3, 7, he's speaking of being considerate. This is the opposite of the caveman mentality some today would advocate. It's incompatible with the kind of independent, proud, self-absorbed machismo many seem to think epitomizes true maleness. It calls for understanding, sensitivity, and meeting your wife's needs. It involves a sincere effort to understand her feelings, fears, anxieties, concerns, goals, dreams, and desires. In short, you must be considerate. Often it boils down to listening. You must understand your wife's heart. How can you express a sacrificial love that meets her needs when you have no earthly idea what those needs are? And uh, they continue here in the Song of Solomon. The wife says of her husband, this is my beloved, and this is my friend. Song of Solomon 5.16 She rejoices in her love for him, but it is not just the romantic devotion that thrills her. It is not his machismo or his leadership that causes her heart to sing. Well, what is it? She is glad that he is her friend. That's the kind of relationship husbands should cultivate. It is a deep sense of intimate, equal sharing of spiritual things. It is a communion together like no other relationship on earth. End of quote. Now, I couldn't agree more. In addition to that, I'd like to add that since I mentioned age gap in the title, why can't it just be good enough that an older foreigner has married a younger Filipina and feels like he has just won the lottery and not try to over-assert inordinate, uh, inordinate power over her it really doesn't matter if there's an age gap or not. The best marriages don't split things 50-50 and they don't demand their own rights. What they do is want the best for each other and are willing to make some sacrifices for that to happen. There are different roles. It is essentially selfishness that causes this imbalance of power. Be unselfish and considerate of your younger Filipina. Count your blessings and reap the rewards that only marriage can bring. I know that I am not any better than my love beyond the sea.